Hello. I don't know what song I'm singing, but I made it up. What's up, y'all? It's CCG back for another video. Now to be making video. Today, I wanted to do a vlog type slash tip video. So basically, I'm just gonna play some of the stuff I haven't really even got done finished with. Um, just so y'all can hear and check out stuff I've been working on. Cause I've been working, I've always been working. Now first off, I'm not a beat making guru or freaking wizard or anything, but I'm just giving you some tips that have worked for me. The three and a half years that I've been making beats, I've learned a lot. A lot of small things that might help, might not. You might already know these things, but I'm gonna tell them anyway. And I want y'all to check out some of my beats. Tip number one, don't put all your beats on SoundClick. You always gotta have a secret stash for other people. Put some high stuff on your SoundClick, definitely. Have your page booming. But don't put every single last one of your beats on SoundClick. That's a no-no. Tip number two. When you're making beats, surround yourself with things you like. Surround yourself with things that make you comfortable. Sometimes I'll be in here, the lights are all out, I got candles going. You know, just get romantic with the beat making, you know? And I have Netflix going. It'll be really, really low, faint in the background, but it just keeps me company. So, that's one thing that I keep around me when I make beats. Tip three, sometimes less is more. I remember when I first started making beats, I was like, oh man, oh, I like this sound, I'm gonna put it in there. Oh, I hear this sound, oh, I'm gonna put it in there. No, that's not always necessary. Why am I talking with my hands on my head? I'm sorry, I'm just comfortable. Sometimes less is just more. And like, here's a beat that I've started. I haven't finished it. It's kind of like a, Club beat, I guess. I don't really know what to call this beat right now. Really chill, but if somebody's spitting over it, it'd be crazy. So y'all check this one out. to that beat as you can see there's like no sounds in it all right now sometimes you might want to put a little umph in your beat you might have a lot of like a million sounds in the beat but it won't sound like a million 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 bazillion sounds if you know how to mix it tip up mix it panning like putting a sound over to the left or a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right that may help them not clash if everything is in the middle then it's going to sound jumbo on top of each other. I haven't been taught, so I don't know how to teach you, if that makes sense. EQing, compression, you have to just mess around with it and play around and see what sounds good to you. This has a lot of stuff going on, but it doesn't really sound crazy, I don't think. <laughs> given actually by Drummer Boy. Drummer Boy told me, when you export a beat and you name it, go ahead and put the tempo of the beat in it, the actual description of the name. When you send out beats to the artist and they get the beat, they already have the tempo in it. They don't gotta call you and be like, yo, what's the tempo of it? You know what I'm saying? They gonna really automatically effort you just because you took your time like this. So that's a tip that I was given. The tempo of this is 169.312. So I would definitely need to tell somebody that. This is a sample I did of an old Escape song off of the movie, The Mask. And um, the beat was made by Jermaine Dupree. Shout out to Jermaine Dupree. And if you haven't heard the song, go check it out. See how I flipped it. The beat is called Gossip. <laughs>
think that's kind of a fun record. It's kind of fun. Makes you have fun when you listen to it. Y'all let me know what y'all think or whatever, I guess. And um, yeah. Also, I did an interview recently with some local people, friends of mine in Dallas. We're talking about a lot of the Dallas things that I got going on and some other stuff. I let him hear a couple of other beats and um, he asked me if I was single. So if you want to hear the answer, click here and go check it out. Make sure you tell your friends about me. Tell your friends to subscribe to me, man. I need some more subscribers, some more love, you know what I'm saying? Some more views and all that, you know? So, you know, tell your homies, man. Tell your moms. Tell pops, you know. Y'all have any more questions and things you guys want me to answer? Let me know down here. Y'all make sure y'all check out BeatingTheBeat.net. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. So, y'all stay tuned, alright? Love y'all. Bye.